that was in us in the years gone by. Let God bring back the vision for follow-up that was there in the years gone by. Pray for passion once again. The zeal of the early days should come back once again. Open your mouth and pray. Pray fervently. This is very important. We cannot keep laboring in vain. The commitment to follow up, let God bring it back. The consecration to follow up our converse, let God bring it back again. Thousands and hundreds of thousands that are getting converted through our global crusade. Let us not neglect them. We are experiencing the greatest revival in the history of our church through this unprecedented global crusade of our Father in the Lord. How are we following them up? Where are these souls that God has been adding unto the church and unto his kingdom? How many times have you visited them? Pray. How many times have you strengthened them? Pray. How many times have you encouraged them? How many times have you built their faith? Pray. How many times have you brought them to the Monday Bible study or our weekly meetings? God will not be happy if we labor in vain. God will not be happy if after all this labor, we still lose them. God is using our Father in the Lord to plant. Let God use us to water. Let God himself begin to give the increase. Pray that God will make you prompt in your follow-up. We shouldn't waste time. Right from the very first night when the altar call is made and souls are added, follow-up begins right away. Pray that you should persevere in your follow-up. Be pungent in your follow-up. Be passionate in your follow-up. Be prayerful in your follow-up. Pray for God to make you purposeful in your follow-up. We cannot afford to be having all these souls. And we allow them to go back to the water like the fisherman catching fish and throwing back the fish into the river. That will be foolishness enough. Pray that God will help us to be committed to visitation. Let God help you to go into re-follow up by tracing all those converts of all our past global crusades. Promise God now that you will be more faithful than ever before. And that every subsequent global crusade, we will give ourselves diligently to follow up. Let's pray finally for our Father in the Lord. That God will keep strengthening him. Physically, spiritually, let there be more grace, more favor, more anointing, more magnification by the Almighty God. Let there be more signs and wonders. We can all see that the glory of these latter days is greater than the glory of the beginning. Let this continue. And in all the subsequent global crusade, let's pray for more glory to come down. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for your revelation. We thank you for opening our eyes to see where we are living the first love. We pray that from this moment, as we all commit ourselves to more labor, I pray that you will help us to give everything we have. All you have given to us, we give it back to this service of God. We will not allow our converse to go and backslide and embrace their former vomit anymore. Help us to be more diligent in this service. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.